Jen. Jen. Welcome to today's video break. Psalm 46, verse 10. My absolute favorite verse. If I was to get a tattoo, this is what it would say. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, for most of us, if, you know, in life, it there's so much noise. You know, it, it it's some of you are raising children, some of you are in hectic jobs, some of you are, you know, in marriages that are rocky, some of us are jobs that are stressful, some of us, you know, whatever your situation, elderly parents, whatever situation you're going through, if we're not careful, that situation becomes what we're listening to. What's predicting the mood for the day? What's what the outlook for the day is, the week, the month, the year? You know, it's all dependent upon this one situation. And it becomes so loud. And David in this in this passage, you know, all through Psalm 46, he was talking about how loud things were. There were wars, there were hurricanes, there were earthquakes, mountains were falling. I mean, all kinds of noise, drastic noise. And in our life, if we're not careful, we can begin to listen to the noise for our consolation, for our peace, for the place that that determines the mood, <laughs> that determines the emotion, that, re that determines the response. But friends, we are invited, seriously, listen, we are invited every day into a greater place other than our circumstance, other than our situation. Yes, we have to walk through that, but here's the thing. Here's the deal. You and I are not in these places alone. We're not in these fiery furnaces. We're not in a den. We're not chained alone. We're, we're not there alone. That's why it is so significant that we, be, that we get quiet, that we allow ourselves some, some quietness, some, some times of contemplation, some time where we're in the Word, where we're still, where we're just being still. Nothing else can speak to us other than the voice of God. Be still is the invitation. And it is so contrary to the loudness of our world, to the all the noise that we hear most of it. I start my day quiet. I, I don't even like turning on my lights because I just like it to be quiet, you know, to, to reflect, to, to meditate, you know, not to let my feet jump the floor and bounce out of bed and start my activity without just shh, this. Wait, 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 wait. This is too loud right now. Bring that loud situation to a God who is still, to a God who's sovereign, to a God who's all powerful, all knowing. You're not, I'm not. He didn't equip us to carry the situation, to, to, to find our peace in the midst, in, the, in our situation. He equipped us to be still and to know that he's walking with us through it. And that's, friends, where we find comfort for today. That's where we find our strength. That's where we find the abundance. That's where we find what we need. And we can't find it if all we're listening to is the noise. Turn it off. And then begin to really reflect and say, okay, what's really loud in my life? And bring that loudness to the Lord. Say, okay, God, here it is. It's loud. But I know that you can, God can handle it. We're not equipped to handle the noise. God is, friends. So what is your loudest thought going on right now. That's the invitation. Be still and know that I'm God. Get the perspective right. Understand that he's the God over the loudness and let him speak to you. Oh, be blessed today.